What's going on out there, YouTube? What's up, Team Hollywood? And what's up, my NBA 2K fans? It's your man, Hollywood Sports. If you are new to my channel, thank you for clicking on this video and welcome to Hollywood Sports, our Boston Celtics, my era. Let's get it, guys. Let's get it. We are, this is game two. Uh, we beat the New York Knicks in our first game. And uh, let's get it on, baby. Let's get it on. Again, guys, if you are new to the channel, thank you for clicking on that video. How important, Greg, is it to a team's confidence to right, here start we go. the season strong? Kevin, I think it means more. I don't think y'all want to see the introductions, team, right? But if you do, let me know. Veterans, you're looking at the bigger picture. And now the opening lineup for Boston. Holiday in the backcourt. Working side, on sliders, guys. Working on sliders. And in the front court, Brown and Tatum. And it's Brzingis in at the center, filling out the middle. Now here's White over Kispert. And All right, come on, baby, got to make those. Wide open shot. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that. On the wing, the shot there we go. did no good. Normally he drains that. Brown dishes to White. Shoots from 12. Here we, the there we go, White. Here we go. Good. That's a guy you want taking shots. A quality offensive player. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks very much, Brian. Keith shared a few moments with me. He knows how much Jason Tatum can impact. First thing the game. I'm trying to develop is clean, has clean the gameplay. The game. How he responds to a defense. He's faster. That means we have to be not a lot of collision and bumping. It's clean basketball. There we go. Good block. We call it foul on that with that shot clock violation. Back to you guys. All right, David, thanks. Good block. Holiday is a great defensive player, man. Just a big time block right there. We're going to bring these attributes out of these players. Right away. Letting them know they won't get any easy ones when he's around. All right, let's get it. GA, when it comes to the Wizards, they have a pretty spotty draft record over the past decade. Kevin, it's tough to get things right in the draft. Plus, they have just had four lives. Right, we got to get our superstar going, baby. Than eighth once in the last decade. But they have passed on some superstar level talent. Here's Brogdon, Jason Tatum. First step on the sliders to get clean gameplay. He kicks to Kispert. You know, the speed of the game and things Here's like that. Kuzma. Good on the oh man, he banged a nice that three right there. Possession. Get Kuzma the ball. Powell will drill those catch and shoot chances. Good pick, good pick. Roll, roll, Porzingis. Oh, good. Look at Brown. Let's go. Brown takes it all the way to the hoop. And that's an example of playing big. They give you the lane, baby. Take it. That's situation. what I'm talking about. Also relying on his skill there. That's a nice move against Lane. Hey, gets the bucket. And maneuvering into position. Bay moving the needle. The Celtics have gone three of four from the field to start off the game. Tatum on the wing. And you watch Good Jason job. Tatum. He can do never follow that, baby. The numbers are pretty similar. And the effort He's going to take it to the hole on Kuzma. First free throw. First trip to the line in this one. <laughs> and he can't get the first. I remember the Lakers said they would never get rid of Kuzma. But it didn't work out. Things change, baby. Shams, watch the story. Thanks. Well, the Celtics won their 18th championship in 2024, the most of any franchise in the NBA, and with multiple extensions this summer, securing their core moving forward. Boston has made huge financial. I'm going to say you missed two free throws, bro. Every single year. Not a team to be taken. Sorry, right, we're warming up as a All team. Right, we're warming well, up. Thank you for the report. Now here's Brogdon to the inside. Yeah, they always picking on the user, man. Goes in, off to always. Two for two. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. 
Here's White from seven. And easy, that easy piece, easy piece. He is looking confident. <clears throat> Love how they're using him so far. Yeah, when he gets engaged this early in the game, it's bad news for the defense. He can roll this start throughout the rest of the game. And here's Kispert from the arc. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. Outside Holiday. And the foul on Jonas Valanciunas. Jonas. That is his first foul of the game. For the Wizards. Personal foul. Stars check in for Kyle Second Kuzma. Kulabali comes Seth in for Jesus. Sadiq Bey. And Poole subbed in for Malcolm Brogdon. Just under three and a half minutes gone here in the first quarter. Pass to Horford. Let's the three fly. And Valanciunas pulls it down. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. Here's Kispert. Rulabali with Wow, how did he get that rebound? Right wing. How about to get out of three seconds? Open look for Saw. Trains the three-pointer. Well, Saw continues to develop that three-point shot, hoping to make it a reliable part of his game. Here's Brown. And he just worked New York in that last game. Richard, when you talk about Jalen Brown, many scouts Jonas felt he'd never be a number one level Second option offensively. Uh, but he's proven some people that. wrong. Kevin, many scouts have been wrong many times. The question has been answered. He wasn't a great shooter when he first came into the I got to feel these guys out on free throw shooting. To improve. But now, both of those are strengths in his game. Wow. Well, what, did he have something in his eye on that shot? <laughs> And the Wizards making a change here. Bagley's checked in. RJ, we've seen multiple all-star games for Jalen Brown. Can he become a superstar? It's tough winning games on the road, man. The finals MVP in your back pocket. You gotta get it going, though. You are now a superstar, and Jalen Brown is that. Here's Cornette following the bucket by the Wizards. Brown outside. Ooh, good block. And a skilled shot blocker to boot. Love how Bagley uses that height and reach to stifle. We, we got to get back on defense, guys. There's 25 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Brown with it. Pass to Pritchard. Back to Brown. Rocket six. Basket good. Jalen Brown. Now Kulabali misses the three. And That's still a close game. Not game. bad, not the bad, not bad. Comes to a close. Wizards lead by three. We'll be back shortly, live from Washington. Got to make some notes on the sliders here. I see some things we can we can fix. after one quarter of play. Guys, what do you think about the offensive approach so far that we've seen for the Wizards? The ball movement has been outstanding so far. They've come out of the gate looking for that extra pass. And something else that I liked is how they attack the paint. Finding ways to wow. get inside and Man, these Wizards are shooting pretty good right now. On the court for the Celtics, second quarter underway. They've got Horford, and it's Pritchard in at the one. Richard passes to Horford. Nice ball movement by Boston. Here's Hauser. Nine points last game. The Celtics need to get a shot off. Two on the clock. Takes a three. Great timing on the rejection there. This young kid wow. has major defensive potential. And Washington making a change. Aldrin's checked in. Analytics or the eye test? The optics or the numbers in front? When you're judging the performance of a player, what kind of criteria do you use? Well, an MVP candidate recently said, my eye test tells me this guy's a terrible defender. But the analytics tell me he's a great defender. I'm confused. And, and I often feel 
the same way. That board looked easy for Saar at 7-1. You expect second chance opportunities like that. Richard passes to Hauser. Here's Cornett. Pass to Hauser. Just five to shoot. To the paint. Got a piece of it. It's stolen by Bagley. Oh, and a fast break for the Wizards. Here's Koulibaly. Bagley the pass to Baldwin. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. The Wizards shooting their first free throws here tonight. First team foul. And that one misses. GA, these Boston Celtics are unquestionably a top-tier offensive unit. Stupendous shooting, excellent instincts with the ball. Yeah, they are a model offense in many ways, making it tough for many teams to keep up with them. Butler, he's checked in for Koulibaly. Now, here's Brown. Porzingis sets the pick for Brown. He yeah, not shooting well at all. Bagley the pass to Saar. The D -hole for good defense. The, the kick out to Poole. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Pound down low. Here's Pritchard. Back to Orf. And they call an illegal screen. Beyond the leaning, you could see his feet were set on that screen. Easy call. Look, guys get away with this all the time, but on this occasion, he got caught. Here's what Boston's going with right now. Jason Tatum, he's checked in for Jalen Brown. And Derek White subbed in for Pritchard. Now, here's Brogdon. They lead by eight. That's the biggest of the game. Fires, high post, and all around the rim that time before dropping in. Kuzma's got five. And, you know, Kuzma's gotten a lot better at handling defensive pressure. A hand in his face is not going to stop him from taking that shot. Tatum against Bay. And they get it. Oh, what strength and power from Tatum. And that's his strong suit, the ability to find his way through the D and finish at the rim. Poole kicks to Valanciunas. Down low, here's Bay, and he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. Uh, assists like that have typified their two effort minutes. today. Terrific to ball move. Two minutes. Pass to Horford. Got it. Good job in the low post. Horford. Horford's got his first two points. With a defender in his shirt, that's a really nice play by Horford. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Olsen. Hey, Kevin. Celtics coach Joe Mazzula has talked about the two Jays, Second Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum. He says they've been lumped together because they play a similar position, but they don't have to be similar. They've got to be able to express who they are and not constantly be compared to each other. They're not the same. Kevin? Back, David, remember a couple years ago, there was some thought that maybe one would be traded. I'm glad they're still together. Kispert's checked in for the Wizards. Uh, Greg, it's not the first skill you think about, but Jordan Poole is unreal at the foul line. I mean, led the league in 22 at 92.5%, beating out teammate Steph Curry by two-tenths of a percent. Poole's always been amongst the league leaders in attempts. Now here's White. Over Kispert. Misses off the right eye. Wow. Nothing, man. Kuzma against Horford. Releases from 15. And Kuzma and they're not missing. on the assist from Valanciunas. And when you give Kuzma that shot, he is going to let it fly. He is so confident in his mid-range. Bay against Tatum. The 11-footer. Rebound, Washington. Alan Jones has got his fourth rebound in this one. Kuzma against Howard. He makes another one. That's four up and four in to start this game. Beautiful touch close in. Kuzma excels at taking advantage down low. 
outside Tatum. It's over Bay. Not enough on that one as it misses. Wizards leading by 14. There's 18 seconds left to play in the first half. Kuzma outside. Shot clock at six. Screen by Valanciunas. Cool, no good. And so it's Washington sitting with a comfortable lead up by 14. And we'll see if they can keep up their tremendous shooting. They've been dialed in so far from the field. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much. Jonas, you guys got off to a strong start. How important was it to set the tone early? You know, we came out with a different energy. We said it's enough to struggle from the start. You know, we got to focus and play good starts. That is where it all starts. Thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks so much, David. And we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after this break. Come one, come all. The 2K halftime is here, and so is our breakdown of the upcoming schedule. Let's check it out. Well, right now for Washington, you really get to see what they're made of after your hard work in the offseason. Yeah, you have big changes, and then you have subtle changes. Everything in preparation for this moment. And time to talk now about that first half. What a dominant display for the Wizards. Vintage teamwork right there tonight. Everyone is looking to be the setup guy. Yeah, when anyone could be the next to score, the defense can't tell what's coming. And the ball is certainly finding the open man. They're playing really good basketball right now. And that is it for halftime, folks. It is back to We're Kevin Harlan and the crew for the second half. They're shooting 57. Wow. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. Without question, Kyle Kuzma displaying his skills today. He's done a fantastic job of finding open space to operate within the first few quarters. I like how they came into this one with a game plan, and they're just going out and executing it. Terrific job. Kyle Kuzma is out there with Bay. Then there's Jonas Valanciunas. Then there's Malcolm Brogdon. And it's Kispert in at the two-guard spot. So that's who Brian Keefe starts the second half with. The three from Tatum. Ferries it from three-point range. Tatum. Tatum's got eight points. What's special about him is he is a natural leader and an active scorer. When Tatum is firing off the catch, you know he's feeling it. And the way the Wizards like to play, Greg, you can expect them to get out and run. They're young, and they can fly, right? They've got speed and athleticism to get up and down the floor. They'll push the tempo as much as you allow. Not too much respect shown to him by the defenders. Holiday looking over the floor. Pass to White. And here's Brown outside. Kuzma hmm. pulls it in. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. 90 seconds now into the second half. And he can't bank that one in. Celtics trail by 16. Now, here's Brown. Pass to Tatum. Persingas with a screen on Kuzma. Tatum drives in. And stolen by Kuzma. White against Bay. Brogdon kicks to Bay. Count the basket. Bay's got five points now in the quarter. 
a nice start to the second half. They've made three out of their first four shots coming out of the break. Kuzma against Tatum. Pass to White. Shot clock at five. Here's Holiday. Hits the target from 18 feet. You just got to get some stops, man. They trust his decision making on both ends. And Derek White, he's one of the most valuable guards. Got to get some stops. White can play the one. He can shoot the ball. Plus, he is an all league defender. So Derek White gives you everything you want in your backcourt. And it's Brian Keith calling timeout here. He's made the decision. He wants to huddle up with this guy. Washington making some changes. Kulabali, he's checked in for Bay. And Poole subbed in for Kispert. Then for the Celtics, El Horford's checked in for Tatum. And it's Pritchard in for White. Pass to Koulibaly. And here is Poole. Alan Junis sets a screen for Poole. Right on the clock. Koulibaly with it. For three, Procton. They grab their own miss. And it's Valanciunas finishing it off. And one way Valanciunas generates offense, using that big body to snare the board and keep the play alive. Now here is Holiday. Pass to Pritchard. Horford with it. Here's Pritchard. And the first shot of the night for him, no good. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Kevin, well, like a lockdown corner in football, teams just try to keep the ball away from Drew Holiday. He says, I feel like they're not afraid of me, but like, okay, get him off the ball. Trying to be aggressive. Maybe that's respect. I don't need other get into the telling me how good I get fouls or nothing. see it by their Second actions. Foul. Kevin? First so true. He Davis. can be intimidating, Second David. And we thank you foul. for that report. First team Rock foul. really utilizes that size <laughs> down low. He'll go right at these guys as he did there. That free throw good from Brockton. Bagley, he's checked in for Washington. Sar comes in for Kyle Kuzma. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And RJ, the combination of Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown winning a title together. That's something else. There was some small talk going around about breaking them up. Good thing for the Celtic front office, they kept them both. In their first seven seasons as a duo, they have five trips to the conference finals. That is a ridiculous run. And it's Brown missing. Wizards leading by 20. Poole, the pass to Brockton. There's 25 seconds left to play in the third. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Brogdon's got four points now in the quarter. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Brown deciding where to go with it. In the corner, Horford with it. Back to Brown. We just don't have any movement it's in our offense. And so it's Washington cruising into the quarter break with a 22-point lead. The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. We'll get you back to the action after this break. Now let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. Just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? A lot of times a spectacular pass is more impressive than a spectacular shot. This is one of those times. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. On the floor for Boston, they've got Jalen Brown. And it's Pritchard in at the point guard position. Here's Cornette, defended by Bagley. Pritchard passes to Cornette. 
Three-pointer. Bagley with the block. And he's able to get it back. And they're blocking everything. He couldn't get the shot off in time. Washington basketball. Wizards leading by 22. Jay, you had a chance to rep a summer league game this past year, so you get a little bit of a feel for what these guys go through. Being a referee is by far the hardest job in professional sports. To try and keep up with the amount of plays, the amount of possessions, I do not envy their job. Here's Pritchard. Cornette kicks to Brown. Over Butler. Offensive rebound, Celtics. Knocks it loose. Wow. In transition. Getting out of minds right now. Here's Bagley. Yep, that one goes. Bagley's got his first Ooh. bucket of the night. And guys, what do you think about the hustle stance for the Wizards? Great heads up defensive play tonight, creating offensive opportunities for themselves by forcing deflections. And they've also shown great effort defensively tonight because they closed out on shooters and really got their hands up on multiple shots. Wanting it more. Jalen Brown, this man competes. And teammates, they take notice of things like that. The three from Poole. And Pritchard pulls it down. Not his best game, but they're still getting it done collectively. And the call will be against Marvin Bagley. Marvin Bagley. That is his first foul of the game. And so Joe Mazula calls for the timeout. And he wants to see some changes out there right away. And right now. And the Wizards are going with a whole new group out there now. Great job. Here's Tatum. Greg Reno players are not shy about criticizing officiating. Anything you'd try to change or improve with the way the game is called. Well, I like when the players Jason, and the Jason. refs get together in the offseason to go over video examples. I think one thing that's important is you got to have relationships between the players and the officials. And then I think the fans can also then kind of get on the same page. They're going to be missed calls out there. That will never change. How about dueling from long range, just going at each other? Take that, he says. I see your three, and I'll raise you another three. Good work there as it goes. Tatum. Tatum's got five points now this quarter. We see this from Tatum often, and it never gets old. Just scoring at will. Has to Bay. Top Kuzma. Five to shoot. From the arc. It's hauled in by Brock. And if they know what's good for them, that's the way they'll defend against him every time he takes the ball in the three-point lane. Outside Holiday. Back to Tatum. That one is good again. He's six straight for the four with the basket. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher, and Coach knows it. When it ain't broke, leave it alone until someone stops him. Just let him roll. He kicks to Kuzma. Pass to Brogdon. Alan Junis sets a screen for Brogdon. Now here's Valanciunas, headed by Porzingis, and the shot goes in. And the Wizards lead by 20. And one team is just completely outclassing the other tonight. Spirited performance, and it really ignited what is turning out to be a monster win here for the Wizards. A few times this season, turnovers have cost them, but they really kept the ball under control. They were both focused and relentless. Jason, Jason. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. And this is a great way for them to kick off this season series. Two more games ahead, and they've taken the mental advantage with this win tonight. And you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for Alex Song. I think people could learn a lot from how versatile he was in this one. Whatever the situation was, he found a way to be a difference maker. 
There's 39 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Here's Valanciunas, and the Wizards get another bucket right there. Saw the opportunity to put this away and did not turn it down. And that score probably slams the door for any would-be comebacks. And look, they put this one to bed. Definitely a situation you want to make sure you don't give him too good of a look. Pass to Bay. One second separating the shot clock and game clock. And he gets it to go as they call the foul. He's on his way to the line for one more. They made the most of their opportunities looking comfortable and locked in throughout the night. You have to love their effort. This game wasn't handed to them. They took it. Here's Pritchard. That one's off. Still out of sync. And so it's Washington. Yeah, but, He's look, grabbing this one. And the outcome of this one was never in doubt. And boy, they really put in a supreme effort. Right? It just felt like once they had... Great. Outstanding game, by the way. Outstanding. They were not we didn't shoot good at all. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, David. Hey guys, thanks, Kyle. For losing, but congrats on the win. What were you able to do successfully tonight? I think um, as a team collectively, we just got stops and uh, we kind of found a rhythm, an uh, offense, and you know we. Uh, I think we just you know, got it done like that. Well, that rhythm led to a W, man. Congrats. Back to you.